Hi, my name's Kevin Hicks and welcome to my YouTube channel, The History Squad. Now, I've been asked by uh, various subscribers if I could give, you know, some of the personal stories of my life and believe you me, there are quite a few. But I've got a bit of a funny story and it's, it's edged with a little bit of tragedy. You see, as a police officer, I, uh, it was in the late 80s, I think about 88, 89, I was the police officer, the, the constable at the village of Denham in Buckinghamshire, just on the edge of London there. And sometimes I get fed up. People are always at you, you know, excuse me, excuse me, I've got this problem. So I used to hide when it come to lunchtime. I would take a little break with my sandwiches, flask of coffee in the churchyard behind the church in Denham village. Now where I used to sit, uh, if I remember correctly, it was an apple tree. There was these lovely um, apple blossom and that kind of thing. So it's early summer, you know, late spring. But I used to sit next to a grave, which um, really got to me. It was the ax murder graves, the 1870s. An entire family had been murdered. So I often used to sit there, there were very rarely any flowers, and the stone on it was fading. So I used to sit there and kind of keep them company. And I'm sat there this one day, it's so quiet. I just loved it nobody around to disturb me and as i'm eating my sandwiches as a voice comes on kevin kevin really creepy just on the wind and i thought to myself somebody's uh, having a joke here and i looked around and i could see the whole graveyard the whole cemetery yeah nobody is there carry on eating my sandwiches pour some coffee kevin Kevin and I actually thought now I'm being honest with you here that it was God here I am I'm in a cemetery I'm right next to the church and this voice is so gentle on the wind and I looked up as if to say yes Lord when I thought hang on where's that coming from Kevin so I stood on the bench and I'm looking round, and I can't see anybody in that churchyard and then a voice comes over, PC Hicks, I'm over here, you dope. And I said, well, that's not God, is it? Please, Constable Hicks, yeah? So I look, and there, right at the end of the cemetery, in the new part, I could see, sticking up out of a grave, the eyes and nose of somebody. Oh, dear, somebody's fell in an open grave. <laughs> so, closed my sandwiches, secured my bicycle, you never know, put on my policeman's hat and off I went down the cemetery and sure enough there was somebody in an open grave they'd fallen in but it was the grave digger and he full of expletives and was very angry and so grateful I was there but he was stuck he'd been opening up a grave that already had somebody in it from a few years before and his feet had actually gone through the lid of the coffin uh, horrors yeah and uh I had to go and get a ladder from behind his work shed, get him out and we come up to where my coffee was and he sat down with his flask and he was still cursing. And I says, so you, you often have problems in this church? And he says, Kevin, he says, you wouldn't know. You just don't know what's down there. And then he said, you know, the other night I was uh, digging a grave. Uh, it was just for some ashes to be put in some urns to finish off this old Victorian grave. And it was down at the back entrance to the cemetery. I went, oh yeah, I know where you are. And he says, well, it was the grave right next to the gate. I'm halfway down, sit down, open me sandwiches, flask of tea, light up a candle because it's getting a bit low, getting a bit dark. He used to keep a candle in a jam jar. And I says, oh yeah, yeah, I've seen you I'm doing that before now. He says, yeah, yeah. He says, well, problem is I fell asleep. I said, what? He says, halfway through the dig, I fell asleep. I said, only you could fall asleep in a cemetery. He says, the dead never hurt anybody, Kevin. And uh, we giggled. He says, the problem was, he said, when I woke up, I realized straight away where I was. So I quickly lit me camera, me candle. And I stood up, oh, as I stood up, there was a car there. And both the doors to the front were open and there was a couple naked doing stuff across the driving seat when I'm stood up and they took one look at me as I'm holding up my candle. <laughs> Do you know, they drove away without actually closing 
the car stores to their BMW. It was hilarious. He said, I've often wondered, is there somebody in this world telling the story of when somebody rose up from the dead? Or was it an illicit meeting? We laughed. Now that churchyard, some famous people in there now, people who I knew when they were alive, Sir John Mills and people like that. But the tragedy of that churchyard, the axe murders, I've had another look into it. And I'm thinking, I might just do a film about these people, the Marshall family that were butchered. It should be famous or infamous, but actually Jack the Ripper takes the place. So stand by for some more stories of when Kevin was actually a police officer. Now, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Remember to turn on the notification if you do subscribe. And a quick shout out to a couple of my uh, Patreon members, Richard McPherson and Mika S. So guys, thanks for now. Bye, see you soon.